o'clock in the afternoon and just a few minutes after we logged in the uh, music studio where we do the gaming and meditation as well we're off on the road another uh, ride block it is uh, probably 16 hours to the 17th day of May. Clear. That was a short stop. So we're off on our ride vlog. We're off on the road again. This will probably be a daily thing. We'll see how it ends up. And see, a lot of it depends on a lot of it depends on my schedule. If my schedule's okay, then uh, yeah, we'll be doing the ride vlogs daily. If uh, my schedule is kind of backed up and I got stuff to do at my place, then it's not going to be daily. It's going to be well, basically uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and then Saturday and Sunday. So basically Wednesday and Friday so we won't be having the ride vlog. Uh. It is nice out. It's about 70 degrees so very nice weather. And the thing is, the ride gives you enough wind so it cools you off as you drive. So uh, it is a pleasant experience. Let's see what's going to happen here. It is a Monday, so it's of course increased traffic. Although, Considering that we're still in lockdown, uh, and a number of people working from home now, the traffic is sufficient for uh, these conditions. So off we go. with the bus. Nope, not right now anyways. I wasn't sufficiently close to the bus in order to keep going, so slow down, let the bus come out. Watch the fourth part of uh, Barchester Chronicles tonight with my parents and see how things go from there. But it's pretty much going to be the same thing. It's how different people, different characters of different perspectives get along.
and this can be this can be seen on what even in the vlogs different people of different personalities have different views and so what happens let's say you have a, a mother and a daughter they're each vloggers within the family the vlog will come out slightly different because the perspectives in, in which they see things is, is different as well they're not always the same thing And this is something that, is, when you're making an observation, you have to, to sort of keep these things in mind. That, 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 that well, just because you think, just because someone's with the same family, they're going to have the same points of view. And that's not always the case. They may have similar points of view, but they're not always going to have the same point of view. Uh, and so this is, it, it, it's difficult to take this into account, but at the same time, you shouldn't be going into a particular source if it is viewed as a source with any preconceived or any bias. In other words, your perspective going into a source, watching something, it needs to be neutral. You go in, you listen, or watch, or whatever you're doing, or read, you take your notes, then you move on to the next one. We'll stop vehicle. with the increased uh, volume of traffic I'm keeping pace with everybody else this is about the average speed in traffic and then another bug bump quickly to move around.
to be that the uh, whole headlight issue was merely a loose connection. I guess this bike bumps and jounces around sufficiently that uh, every now and again the connections will loosen themselves. seven-episode series of the Barchester Chronicles done in 1982. The teleplay, which is what it is, the book turned into a play for television, uh, does not necessarily follow 
word for word the book, but then brings forward the sentiment uh, that is to be conveyed within the book itself. But nonetheless, the character studies that can be done in terms of psychological assessment more psychological observation than more assessment. Because again, if the assessment is, stands with authority, observation does not. Observation carries no authority whatsoever, no assumptions, and no preconceptions. To allow an observation, if you are so inclined, to present itself as it is. And the observation presents to, to you what it intends to present. In other words, the fullest of what you can understand, the fullest of what you can take in. Should you preconceive and, ha and have anticipation, the anticipation and preconception will cloud and fog your observation. Now let's see here, we've got the spacing of one car, click on the second. Ugh. In order to see, you have to come out, but at the same time, uh, the speed of other cars on one side or the other determines your capacity of turning. And we will have the opportunity here. The engagement has begun. And we are off. Observation is a curious thing in that the first observation never brings you anything full. You'll have to go back and do multiple observations in order to get some to gain something further from the initial. But every time you go do an observation, in many cases there are things that are new that are presented which were were not seen initially, and in, as these sort of new experiences, the new observations accumulate, they sum up, they become, as in the fractional sense of calculus, they become integral. The newer appreciation evolves because the information from what you've had shifts accordingly to a greater sense, although not necessarily having the whole. And this gets really complicated. Well, you never have the whole idea. You never get the absolute. You can get a sufficient amount that the amount that you have in terms of the knowledge provides you with a good appreciation of what you've observed. Again, you, and the thing is, what needs to be understood, you've never put in a position of authority. The authority is never there. You are not necessarily, you're never the guru. Guru. You're simply the observer. And then the problem is, is that once you assume the position of the guru, you take that position, you take the authority. That ends your observation, your observation, your sight is no longer that of the observer, but you've now taken the position of the guru. And as we, as the explorer, as the traveler on the path, the desire, the goal, the intent, is to always be the observer. And 
when you achieve a particular position is you're not achieving in terms of taking it. You're simply at the point. So you are not at the point of bishop. You're not at the, you, you are not a bishop. You're at the point of a bishop. Even though in many cases you may, others who may assume you're a bishop and you may call yourself a bishop. For those who are on the path, they're simply at the point of the bishop. They never take and, 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 and prevent, present an authority as bishop. And in many cases, these positions of senior understanding, of lengthened understanding, are often seen as as as, a, as the meekness, of, as a mildness of personality. But then again, there are those with pretense who will pretend to be of mild and meek personalities, but are really, in their own sense, an outright a hidden form of treachery. And this kind of presented itself tonight in the uh, episode, that there are those who hold themselves in positions and in their pomp and pro in their pomp and circumstance, use the pretense of the of the a wise position for purposes that are less than honest, and in many cases they are there for treachery. For, for theft, for deception. And in this case, there are people who are very well-to-do in the upper classes who accumulate many a great debt. And they will often, in their pretense, seek to offer, to, to, uh, seek to marry those, particularly widowers, who are of better means, or marry a daughter of, of, of a man who has better means, in order to further their position. In other words, the marriage has nothing to do with love, but all because of their own sense of self, and purpose, and well, presentation within society. Keep the manner to which you are accustomed. If you are a man who, or a person who lives a, a selfish life, then in most cases, you will do whatever you can, and it'll be well within your understanding of morality to continue along that path of self. -care. 